Typography, typography, where art thou, beautiful typography? <laughs> Hey everybody, Joe Workman here, and today I'm excited to show you the new Font Pro stacks for Rapid Weaver. Now, traditionally over the years, we've had very little control over what fonts were used in our sites. Now, many themes shipped with different various configuration options for fonts, right? And you can choose which font the theme developer wanted you to be able to use. Now, when I shipped Foundation, we got a little bit more control, right? We can choose maybe our own web fonts if we knew how to do that, right? We could use Google fonts, okay? But it was very limited. But now, with Font Pro, we now have the ultimate font solution for Rapid Weaver. You can not only use your own fonts and have Font Pro configure all of the font faces for you, but we also integrated with the world's top web foundries and systems out there. So you can not only use your own fonts, but we integrate with Typekit, with Google Fonts, and with typography.com, with Hoffler and company. So with these options, we now have access to all of the most amazing and beautiful typefaces across the web. And we can really stop using defaults of Helvetica and Arial and you know everything else out there and start really using some fonts to make our web designs really beautiful and stand out. So without further ado, let's jump in and see what possibilities Font Pro gives us. Now this is the typical web font that you'll see online. Here we have a Gil Sans header and Helvetica body text. Now these fonts are great and they've been around for centuries and they will still be around for centuries more. But these are things that we see all over the place. Now not only are we using the same fonts all over the place, but we also have very small text sizes. We have huge measures, which is basically the length of the line, right? Our line spacing, our character spacing, it's all just default, right? And it's not custom and it doesn't make our sites stand out. So what can we do with Font Pro to improve this? So here's a couple examples of me taking the same exact text that we just saw and applying different fonts and styles to that text to really make it stand out. Now in this first example, you see I used a beautiful script font okay, that a lot of times people actually use images for on the, on the web because they can't figure out how to actually use the script fonts on their sites. But now we can use this and have text actually on our site, which is better for SEO. We don't have images being downloaded and we can now leverage that in multiple places across our site, that font family. We see that our font has actually changed, right? We have a much more attractive font, um, something different, right? It's larger, easier to read, and it's, be it's easier to read because we adjusted some attributes of the font, such as the letter spacing, the spacing between the words, the actual line length, which is the measure, because if the length is too long, it just makes it hard to read and unenjoyable to read. Now, Font Pro ships with three stacks. Font box, font families, and font styles. So let's first look at the font families stack. This is the stack where you're actually going to be defining the actual typefaces and font families that get imported into your website. And as you see, when you click on the blue button, you can add a new font family definition. Now we allow you to use your own fonts via the web font and inline font capabilities but we also integrate with the biggest font suppliers out there, such as Google Font, Typekit, and Hoffler & Co. Now, each of these font stacks has different settings to configure where its font source files are pulled from. And also, each of these stacks has a set of settings that allows us to configure what this font family is applied to. Now, the easiest way is to actually just use what's called a font vault. And you can apply this font family to up to eight different vaults that you can then use throughout your site. And we'll see how to use these vaults later. However, you can also apply them to page wide, to actual 
paragraphs or H1s or H2s or lists, right? So if you wanna make sure that all your H1 tags have a particular font family, you can do that easily directly inside the font stack. You can apply it to a custom CSS class as well as custom CSS selectors. Now the font style stack allows you to create font styles that you can apply to various text components around your site. And you can have as many style rules as you want. To add a new rule, you simply click on the blue plus button. The font style settings are broken down so that you only enable the actual settings that you want to apply to that particular style rule. So here we can enable font spacing. This allows us to adjust the actual word spacing, letter spacing, uh, letting or line height of a particular font. We can adjust font sizes. And as you see here, we have four different breakpoints for the ultimate flexibility in your sizing across all devices. We have the ability to do some word wrapping. So text alignment, word wrap. Do we want to hyphenate? Do we want to make sure that the text is all caps by transforming it? Things of that nature. Then we have some list settings for bullet types and number types and whatnot. We also have some visual styles such as opacity, color. Do we want to add a stroke or a text shadow to our uh, style? And next you'll see that we have the apply fonts to settings, which is exactly like what we saw in the font family stack. The one exception is instead of vaults, you can actually apply a style rule to a font style. And here we have up to eight different font styles that you can apply this to. And then we can reference that style later on. So now that we've defined our font families and we defined our font styles, how do we actually apply this to our actual content? Now I showed you before how inside the settings you can actually apply a font family or a font style to a particular page scope, right? So you can scope it to exact elements on the page. You can apply it to a CSS class. Or you can also apply a custom CSS selector, okay? However, the most common way you're probably gonna use this is by using vaults and font styles. Remember, vaults are assigned to font families, and then we have font styles that are applied to a font style rule. Now, if we just look at the content that we saw earlier, we'll notice that this is a foundation header and a foundation paragraph stack. Now throughout all of my foundation stacks, as well as my total CMS stacks, I've integrated font pro into all of them. So if I have my header, I simply go into the header settings and I select, I can select from either site style settings, or I can select any of the eight vaults for my actual font. Same thing for style. From the styles, I can choose a style that is from site, the foundation site styles, or I can choose a style that I've defined inside my Font Pro stacks. Now, if you have a stack that doesn't have Font Pro integrated into it, this is where we can use the Font Box stack that I mentioned earlier. Inside the Font Box stack, it's just a simple drag and drop you can drag and drop any stack that you want inside of it. And then what you can do is you can apply a vault or a style to that particular font box. Now we cannot guarantee that a lot of the styles will get applied. It all depends on the stack and how the stack was made and how the CSS for that stack is done. But a majority of the time, this should work. And that about wraps it up for our general overview of Font Pro. Now make sure you check out our more detailed videos on you know, the specific services and integration points such as typography.com and Typekit and Google Fonts and how to upload your web fonts to your server and things of that nature, right? But we saw how powerful Font Pro can be for us and how important typography is to our site and how it can make our site stand out against the rest. When you go to a site that has beautiful razor sharp text on the page, you wanna stay and read longer than you would that it, on a site that just has the default fonts. Now remember, Font Pro ships with three different stacks. We have the Font Family stack, 
which controls purely the actual font families that are imported into the site. For you geeks out there, this defines all your at font face generation. Okay, all your at font face um, styles are done via the font family stack. We then have our font style stack, which generates the actual styles that get applied to our text. So the sizing, how, you know, how bold is it, the color, um, shadows, things of that nature, right? So that's font styles. And then we have the font box stack that we can use to apply our vaults and styles to our content. Now, if you're already using foundation or you're using total CMS or easy CMS, all of these um, font pro settings are actually available already in those stacks. So if you can add a, a foundation header or a foundation paragraph to the stack, just simply choose your font pro vault and style settings directly from the settings in those stacks. Really cool. This is really gonna be the, the best way to build websites um, using RapidWeaver. So I'll stop jabbing around. I hope you use Font Pro. I hope you love it and use it to make beautiful, beautiful websites. I can't wait to see your designs. So thank you very much, everybody. I hope you enjoy Font Pro and have a great day. Bye.